Alright, I'm using a video camera because I don't know about using two screen recording programs at the same time. So I fired up Slingbox. I'm going to launch Media Expression. We're going to do a live broadcasting project. I'm going to do add a live source. Live source is going to be screen capture source. This is available in Expression Encoder 4, SP1, and SP2. I'm using SP2. Um, it says that the free version only supports 10 minute captures, but that's not true. If you launch the screen recorder application separately, it only records 10 minutes in the free version. But if you use the screen recorder from within Expression Encoder, then it lasts indefinitely. I don't know if that's a bug or a feature, but download it while it lasts. Uh, for audio, we're going to do capture audio from the sound card. So you want to go to your recording devices, and if you don't see stereo mix, you want to right click, do show disabled devices, and if it says it's disabled, you want to enable it. You should see the speaker amplitude bars going up and down if you have sound playing through your computer like I do right now. And then when I select stereo mix, the sound that's being captured shows up in the little uh, preview window here. I'm going to do configure on my screen capture. Set it to 30 frames per second. And I want to make sure that I'm ready to capture some video, so I'm going to do pick a rectangle a rectangle. See that it auto detects where the video is, where that window is. I'm going to go to widescreen encoding. Um, this happens to be the pro version. The non-pro version only has BC1 and uh, smooth streaming won't work on the free version but you can go to high-speed broadband, hit apply, and I'm going to go to video settings. Default for high speed broadband is 852 by 480, the 1.5 megabit. I'm going to leave that for now, but you can change it. You can have more than one. So you could have a uh, high resolution, medium resolution, low resolution. You just need a computer fast enough to be able to render three video streams simultaneously. Um, at 30 frames per second. Gonna click select an output type. I'm gonna do broadcast. It's going to port 8080. Gonna support up to 10 connections. Now with my bandwidth being 1.5 megabit, for 10 connections that would require 15 megabits. So uh, I don't have that. I could set it to 250k and I'd be able to get about three video streams on my internet. Of course, at 250K, you'd want to lower the resolution. So then, I'm going to hit Start. Minimize that. Actually, I can lower it down. So now we see the previews running. On the laptop, I'm going to go to my address here. I'm inside the network so I can go straight to the internal IP address. Don't have to map an IP or anything, or map a port or anything like that. MMS colon forward slash forward slash the IP address 10.0.0.105 colon and then the port that you set up. I did 8080. So when you run that, it's going to ask you if you can run Media Player and hit allow. It starts buffering. So there's that. I'm going to do the same thing on my other laptop. Wow. So now you see I'm capturing my sling box from one computer and using Windows Media Expression to host it as a streaming video. I captured a small portion of the window. Because uh, I'm probably not going to want to stream a 1080p picture. 
Here I'm going to show you how much of a delay there is between the various monitors. Just prove that it's actually streaming. Hit menu. Dog the Pony Hunter. The two laptops um, are playing video at different points because they started buffering video at different points in time. The quality is actually pretty good. Bear in mind this is um, 1.5 megabit. So there you go. Same technique would work for an HD PVR. You just record the window that the video is playing in. You can see um, my CPU is a Core i7-950. It's not using that much uh, CPU power right now. I'm only recording, or I'm only rendering one video quality though. So, have fun with that.